chapter 2. So we must listen very carefully to the truth we have heard, or we may drift away from it. The message God delivered through angels has always proved true, and the people were punished for every violation of the law and every act of disobedience. What makes us think that we can escape if we are indifferent to this great salvation that was announced by the Lord Jesus himself? It was passed on to us by those who heard him speak, and God verified the message by signs and wonders and various miracles and by giving gifts of the Holy Spirit whenever he chose to do so. And furthermore, the future world we are talking about will not be controlled by angels, for somewhere in the Scriptures it says, What is man that you should think of him, and the son of man that you should care for him? For a little while you made him lower than the angels, and you crowned him with glory and honor. You gave him authority over all things. Now when it says all things, it means nothing is left out. But we have not yet seen all of this happen. What we do see is Jesus, who for a little while was made lower than the angels, and now is crowned with glory and honor, because he suffered death for us. Yes, by God's grace, Jesus tasted death for everyone in all the world. And it was only right that God, who made everything and for whom everything was made, should bring his many children into glory. Through the suffering of Jesus, God made him a perfect leader, one fit to bring them into their salvation. So now Jesus and the ones he makes holy have the same Father. That is why Jesus is not ashamed to call them his brothers and sisters. For he said to God, I will declare the wonder of your name to my brothers and sisters. I will praise you among all your people. He also said, I will put my trust in him. And in the same context he said, Here I am together with the children God has given me. Because God's children are human beings made of flesh and blood, Jesus also became flesh and blood by being born in human form. For only as a human being could he die, and only by dying could he break the power of the devil who had the power of death. Only in this way could he deliver those who have lived all their lives as slaves to the fear of dying. We all know that Jesus came to help the descendants of Abraham, not to help the angels. Therefore it was necessary for Jesus to be in every respect like us, his brothers and sisters, so that he could be our merciful and faithful high priest before God. He then could offer a sacrifice that would take away the sins of the people. Since he himself has gone through suffering and temptation, he is able to help us when we are being tempted.' 